What is up fam? Members in the house. Just want to do an awesome video for you. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done an exclusive video, but I wanted to just share this amazing, super haunted location with you. I originally want to do a private live stream just for you. James is here with me and he wanted to do the very same thing for his fam and uh, his members, but we're sort of limited because we didn't have any internet signal at all. I mean, it's terrible. I've been trying to send Tiffany a text message for like two hours and it hasn't gone through just to give you an idea. But anyways, I am at the Octagon Hall. I did a vlog here with Tiffany. Super haunted location. James and I have been here already for several hours. I'm cringing at the fact that I have to go back upstairs, but I want to share this with you. Uh, since we've been here, uh, the only place we haven't checked out or finished up yet was down in the basement. Um, oh, gosh. I don't know if I want to go down there right now, but in case you missed my vlog where I was talking about Octagon Hall, uh, place was built in 1862 by a gentleman named Andrew Jackson Caldwell. And he was a Freemason. And I didn't know this. First time I came, of course, I knew some of the history. I heard he was, at that time, good to his slaves. I don't know if there's such a thing, but he was very, he was very good to them. Of course, after the Civil War, the slaves that decided to go ahead and be free and, and live their lives, he gave them 25 acres, each one. If they wanted to stay, he offered them jobs to keep here, you know, keep working here. But there's something so off about this house. There's been people that have come here and they came here as skeptics. I've been told this, that they leave here not skeptical anymore. I'm going to show you around a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My allergies, a little dusty in here, and I am allergic to the cold weather, but, uh, James in there, doing caca, James, all right, I think he's got his headphones on, uh, there's security cameras, I'm going to show you here in a second, just a little bit ago, James, oh, 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 what the? Something was in front of me right now. Oh my God. Felt like there was something in front of me i may have seen something but I, I can't even describe what happened i like lost my balance i lost my balance while i was in there uh maybe maybe it's just me tripping i've been to so many haunted locations so many but none quite like this in fact even the owner himself said that from the 40 years that he's been paranormal investigating this place remains the top active nightmare by the way nightmare so this place was used to hide confederate war soldiers they would hide they would hide like that there's also a tunnel down in the basement that you will get to see now this is what the octagon house looks like Octagon Hall, sorry. But 
one thing I did not know the last time I came. Of course, um, I did. I do remember hearing about the Freemason thing. Now, there's a lot of uh, symbolism when it comes to Freemasons. There's three floors. There's six windows on each floor. And that equals 666. Also, the number 13 is popular amongst Freemasons. There's 13 stairs. You don't ever usually hear about 13 stairs. There's 13 stairs going down to the basement, which leads to a tunnel also that I will, maybe I'll show you, I don't know, but if you pay attention to doors that look like this, and at first glance, it looks like just a regular door. The design is, the design is very popular. I mean, even today with doors, and you'll usually see the doors have a cross on it but usually the cross is the other way. This has an upside down cross on every single door. Also, there's 13 feet between the floor and the ceiling, making it a 13 foot ceiling. was in here earlier. Oh. I was watching the security footage. You can see there's me right there. But James was right up there in that room, which is Mary Elizabeth's room. She had died here down in the basement actually, her dress caught on fire, really sad situation. But James starts freaking out, he sat on her bed and something started rolling around, like toys flew off the bed, it was, it was really crazy, but I did catch it on the surveillance footage. I think the owner may be able to share some of that footage with me too. I don't even see James, maybe he's outside. funny because even earlier I was showing the footage of, of me and James being in the security room and there was orbs like flying around all over us and everywhere we went in the house. Is that you James? It's James. I think he just came in the door. Ready to go down in the basement? Uh, I'm building up to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hey, like the other floor. so what did you experience up on that? Like in the, uh, it's Mary Elizabeth's bedroom. Bro, I don't even know. All I know is I was sitting on the bed, sitting there, just like trying to wait for a noise or something. And it's almost as if those, whatever those things were, those toys or whatever they were, there was a lolly. I don't even know what half the stuff that was. But it's like something, like something touched right here on my back. I jump up, and they all go flying off the bed. But then you hear it, they're just rolling around for like a good sixty seconds. Good sixty seconds, burped. A good sixty seconds, they're just rolling around, bro. I don't, I don't really know what the heck happened. To be honest with you. you want to go upstairs real quick? <laughs> I got a better idea. What? I went up there by myself and experienced something crazy. You need to go up there by yourself. Oh, if great. You yell, I'll run up there. How's that sound? All right. <laughs> Here's the thing. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go record on a security camera. Well, yo, so just a little bit ago, I was in this room, bro, and I felt or saw something in front of me, dude, and I lost my balance. Like, I almost felt like something touched me or reached out and touched me or when was... I was in the bathroom? Yeah, you when you were in the, it was right over there in this room right here. Well, I mean, he wasn't lying when he said people have been touched and scratched and pushed and. I wasn't. I don't know. I don't know what I felt though. I, it was just like a feeling of of unbalance. Hmm. But here's the thing: upstairs, 
I've never felt, and James hasn't either, I've never felt what I felt in one of the bedrooms up there. You should go sit on that bed. No. <laughs> like, even outside of the doorway of this room. I'm, you know what? I'm just going to go up there. Right, I'm, I'm going to go up there. When I went downstairs after being up there, I said I was not coming back. Not coming back. You can see the Freemason logo right there. Oh, gosh. evil. There's something evil in that room. This is Mary Elizabeth's room right here. Bro, dude, I'm scared up there. Oh, like, oh. Light won't turn on all of a sudden. Look huh? I just turned my light off and it won't turn. What the hell? It's bro? probably dying. Uh, okay. We gotta charge it. What? What? Why? Bro, you... I, I, I don't know. I don't like the feeling I get up there. <laughs> I don't like the feeling. Bro, I see you go up there. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if you want me to go up there with you, I'll go up there with you. Bro, you, I don't even want to go up there with you. I don't want to be up there. I, like, you know what I felt? I felt like something was going to push me down the stairs. Really? No lie, dude. I just, I felt like this feeling, like it did not want, whatever is up there did not want me up there. True story. There was a guy, I'm not sure if it was last week or maybe last night, that he came here all by himself and the owner told him, not a good idea. He said that, not a good idea. The guy calls him in the middle of the night. It was like 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Gives him a call and he's like, hey, man, uh, I don't think they like me very much here. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, why? And he's like, I don't know. They're just There's things here and it's like they're pushing me around and bullying me and telling me to leave. And uh, moral of the story, long story short, the guy ends up leaving at like 9 o'clock at night. Supposed to be here till nine in the morning the next day, but he leaves at nine o'clock at night because he was just, I don't know, whatever was well, he here. Was precise, 9.58 It was, exactly. okay. <laughs> yeah. That so was crazy. Whatever it was, uh, what, did not like him. No, something scared the hell out of him, which I can understand. Imagine the stuff that's happened to us if we're here by ourselves. That'd be so much more intense. Like, what the hell is that? Yeah, what the fuck? I feel like we're in a movie, bro. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. So there is a lot that I'm gonna be showing in the video. I mean, obviously this is like a, a a no cut, no edit video, just something that I kind of, I don't have to edit. I can just send to you. Could be so a lot of mess ups here. Me talking, of course, me going upstairs, coming down really quick, but we did spend a lot more time up there. Also, I had something crazy happen to me and James was my witness. James has the footage. We filmed this whole part, us walking up there. We, I heard whispering. We heard this loud bang. I, I, we, how long did we record? It was like 25 minutes or so of footage. Yeah. All of a sudden, my camera just completely shuts off. It's not that like my battery was dead or anything like It just shut off. And my, of course, it wouldn't turn back on. I went back and my clip, my last clip was gone. Everything that I recorded was gone. I turned the camera back on and I'm starting to talk about it. 
James is being really nice. He's like, hey, man, we can, like, go back downstairs and, you know, record us going back upstairs and do it. And I was like, no, nah, man, it's, it's, all, it's all right. This is a part of what happened. So let's make it happen. It's all good. As soon as we turn the camera back on, and he caught it too, we start, there's chairs, metal chairs right in front of us, and they all start making noises as if there's something sitting down in each one. That's the room that, like, I don't know, James was feeling it, I was feeling it, it, it just was off. It was just off. You felt dizzy, like, I, he felt like something on his chest. What were you feeling? Like, it was your yeah, chest? Like, I, like, almost like something was constricting my breathing, you know what I mean? Like, right. Like, very, very heavy feeling on my chest. Like, somebody sitting on my chest almost. For me, I, I felt something more in my head. Like, it was like, like this tight feeling, like there was... Oh, that came from right up there. Was that the camera, maybe? No, no. Look, it came from somewhere. It sounded like it came right from that chandelier. What, bro? I don't know, but bro, this place freaks me out. Yeah. I, I haven't been freaked out in a place in a really long time. Not like this. Ready to go to the basement? What'd you say? Wanna check out the basement? Do I wanna check out the basement? <laughs> Alright. Let's go check out. We also went outside and there was a barn down there where we felt the same uneasy feeling as we did upstairs. And I can't remember what exactly we witnessed, but like it was we heard a bang. And then in the other barn that we didn't feel uneasy in, we saw like, I don't know if we saw it or I might have caught it on camera. This whole table like flipped over, which that has happened in the basement too. According to the owners, there's a 300 pound table or there was a 300 pound table down in the basement that completely flipped over. Um, I'm going to quickly take you down there. Um, Are you going to leave this in part of, for this uh, second video or? Uh, Wait, is this for members? This is just for my members, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dope. You should do the same thing. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. I'm gonna go grab my All right, phone. James going to do his member. You, you want to actually, I'll wait for you. And we can start yeah, in the basement. I, go it, I don't want to go in the basement alone. <laughs> uh, I'll go in the basement alone. All right. table flipped over is a 300 pound table now that's not what we saw we saw something in the in the barn but it was like a one of those party tables i don't know i don't know if it flipped over or what the hell happened it might have been flipped over already i don't want to spoil it but i do want to just Kind of give you a little sneak peek at what we're up to. Awesome video coming. Three-part series. And yeah, a lot more history on the place. But just kind of, you know, like like I said, this, this was used originally. It was used as a hospital in the Civil War. It was used as a hideout for Confederate soldiers. There is a tunnel. Like... There's a tunnel. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna come back down here. Okay. Don't think I'm a woods. I'm coming down here with my good camera though. Right now I'm using my iPhone, uh, just so I can quickly get this video to you. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, fam members only sneak peek of the Octagon Hall. If you're ever in Southern Kentucky, I believe we're really close to Bowling Green, Frank Franklin, Franklin, Kentucky. It's cold as hell. James and I were kayaking like just a couple days ago. Yeah, now we're in 28 degree weather. 80, 80 degree weather. And uh, 
It's like 20 something degrees outside. Like, I mean, it's, it's definitely, yeah, there's ice like on our car. Bro, I cannot even begin to tell the fans what's happened so far. <laughs> like, bro, just this, have you. This house is unreal. No, like, this house unreal. is unreal. Unreal. Like, we're afraid to go back up to the second floor. And look, this is a popular place. I just came running down. <laughs> I did come running down, dude. I think I just caught some orbs on camera. Did you? Yeah, I think so. But look, these are a bunch of, like, real popular people that have been here. I mean, I. I don't know who, I mean, some of you guys might know who they are, but, uh, yeah, Tennessee Wrath Chasers, they've been on TV too, right? This is like a bucket list for a lot of paranormal investigators, huh? Big time. Wow, these are all paranormal investigators that have been here, TV shows and stuff? Yeah, we have uh, Ghost Hunters right there, see? This is an awesome place, though. Dude, this is awesome, place. awesome place. And if you want to rent it out for the night, it, it's what three hundred bucks. Pretty reasonable, yeah. For the entire night, people together, and you're good. That's me. I've been to some places where they want to charge thousands of dollars. Oh yeah. And they're not as haunted as Octagon Hall. Oh, 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 oh. What, did you see something dude, there? there was like a shadow or some Whoa. shit coming towards you. Dude, I don't. I dude, I do not. I am not liking this, bro. Uh uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-u